Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel, and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and brief review video, and I'll be presenting the Marathon Travel Alarm Clock. And I'd like to mention that this is not a paid or affiliated review. So everything was purchased with my own money and there's no affiliated ring, uh, link. So the opinions are totally honest and unbiased. Now, before I start, I'd like to talk about a little bit about uh, the Marathon Watch Company. So Marathon Watch Company actually is a Canadian watch company and which mainly makes government and army watches uh, throughout the globe and for example uh, this watch company actually uh, supplied uh, in 1941 uh, they manufactured uh, watches for the allied forces and also they manufactured uh, watches for the first in the first gulf war for the u.s army and also uh, they supply watches for the US Marine Corps, NASA and the Canadian Armed Forces and various other uh, armed forces and governments throughout the world. So they only make uh, they make very good quality army grade watches and uh, they are based in Canada. And uh, I would feel comfortable having a product uh, from them uh, knowing that you know this is going to work and this is not going to uh, give me any trouble. Now you may want to ask why there is a need for travel alarm clock when uh, everyone has a cell phone with them and then they can just use their cell phone or whenever you go to a hotel uh, there is a hotel uh, alarm clock there and uh, the reason I would always keep my own travel alarm clock because I wouldn't trust the hotel alarm clock whether you're staying at uh, Hilton or Marriott or you are staying at a cheap hotel it's the same everywhere the clock they give you uh, is uh, you know very uh, low quality and usually they're very dirty uh, never like you know properly cleaned and I wouldn't rely on them let's say I have a flight in the morning and I wouldn't just rely on the hotel alarm clock to wake me up and to go to the airport and also in terms of uh, alarm clock on cell phone uh, which is a good thing but you are dealing with a few different things when you're in a foreign country uh, one of them is uh, that you don't know the exact time because you're in a different time zone so the watch might dysfunction and it happened to me in the past that sometimes uh, the alarm clock on my watch just didn't work uh, there's no reason no nothing it simply didn't turn on and I missed uh, the alarm but uh, usually I always have two uh, sets of alarm uh, set so even if I miss one then I have another one so for for those re reasons i wouldn't just you know rely on hotel alarm clock and my cell phone alarm clock and also whenever you're buying an alarm clock uh, keep in mind that uh, do not buy a cheap alarm clock uh, which is going to uh, go out of uh, work after like you know one month or two months so buy something from a reputable company and also be careful about uh, the battery the watch uses because most of the cheap alarm clock or even expensive alarm clocks they use um, coin size battery for example CR2032 or other coin size batteries those are expensive to replace and usually hard to find as well so buy something which runs on regular double or triple battery and you're gonna have uh, things easier in the future if you need to change your uh, watch battery so that's all about that now let's start with the unboxing so we're gonna look at the package and see the some of the features we have here so here's the alarm clock and it has super glow screen and it's got calendar and temperature as well and it has 20 12 20 hour 24 hour format snooze button temperature and calendar uh, which was just mentioned here and on here let's see what we have so you can actually rotate 182 uh, 180 degree and it falls into a com convenient compact unit which I like and then some other features we have here is that uh, 2 inch jumbo display one touch glow display 
a squeeze alarm, a snooze alarm repeats every five minutes, and display time in 12 to 14, 24 hour format. Displays date and month, and temperature. You have the option of Fahrenheit or Celsius, and flip cover, and AAA battery, which I was just uh, referring before. That always go with AAA or AA battery. Okay, so let's uh, open the box. Hopefully, I'll not need a scissor or a knife. Okay, so looks like we have packaging here. So here is the alarm clock, and let's uh, take a look what's in here. Okay, so it looks like they included the battery, uh, and then the box is empty. I'll set it aside here. Okay, so here, let's take a look here. Okay, so these are the basic instructions. How to turn it on, off, or how to uh, set the lamp clock. Okay, which I don't need to go through. And on the, on the other side, looks like it's in French. Uh, so I'll just set this side here and what we have here is marathon since 1939 so they have been making watches uh, which are mainly military and government grades watches since 1939 and okay so here they are giving some other alarm clocks made by the same company marathon so it looks like they have lots of alarm clocks, which even I didn't know. I like something very uh, simple and handy one, which uh, you know, which is the one I just bought. But they have lots of other options as well. And on this side, okay. So let's see what we have. More watches. Okay. So they have lots of watches uh, to choose from and I'll set it aside here and let's look at our watch. Okay, let me give it another wrapper and I take it out here, put it in here. Okay, so this is very lightweight, uh, that's the thing I like. You're going to put it in your carry-on luggage and you're not going to feel that you know you have something there. And here's the marathon watch a model number and let's open it. Okay, so I believe it should be this way. Okay, so we have it, we have the clock here. And another thing, everything is on in front, you know all the settings. So everything in front, which is a very good feature. Some of the alarm clocks, uh, mainly which are cheap alarm clocks, you buy everything is in the back and it's very hard to set because you cannot see uh, on the in the front and the back at the same time. But I like having everything uh, in front. And let's see if I can rotate this. Okay, so here is the feature. Okay. So when you rotate it, then it just, you know, come this way. And you can stand it like this but when you don't rotate it you can keep it this way as well okay so i guess rotating just gives you better uh, visibility in terms of watching the looking at the alarm clock because you're just looking at the alarm clock here without the base or stand but when you're not rotating just looking at the whole thing so you might not want to look at this I guess that's the purpose uh, of the rotation which I'm not sure I'm just guessing okay so here are some of the buttons and let's take a look here turn clockwise to open turn counterclockwise to close okay so I have a feeling this one looks like the battery uh, chamber so if we take it out and max XL battery Actually, the battery they gave is not cheap either, so which I like. Uh, usually, if you buy an alarm clock, they you know insert very cheap battery which runs away after one month. But this one looks okay, so I'll put it in here and let's close it. 
and I think there's a protective screen or cover uh, let's see if I can take this out okay okay actually I don't have nail so I cannot take this out to show you okay that's okay so I was able to take it out okay so here once I take it out I'll put it here okay so once I enter the battery looks like it started working but with the time is 12 uh, and let's try the glow button super glow so if you press it here because there is a sunlight outside you cannot see that much but if you press it here you can see a little bit that you know it's glowing who should be good enough at night so it's just giving the uh, you know base uh, reset temperature uh, which are not correct because it's 12 o'clock 1 1 uh, Thursday or uh, Tuesday temperature is 25.5 so it looks like these are not correct. So I'm not gonna go through all the settings and stuff. Uh, so basically this is what I wanted to show you. It shouldn't be that uh, complicated to set everything. It shouldn't take that long. And this is a very good travel companion. Or even if you want to just keep it uh, next to your pillow or on night stand uh, when you sleep. It should be good for that as well. So that concludes the marathon uh, travel alarm clock if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and there will be more videos coming up thank you